That belongs in a museum. I like that line. Ooh. Oh, man. Potential game-winning position. If his ethereal conjurer can get something big, and he can time to wind it. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah. It's always one of the worst feelings ever to be on the receiving end. When your opponent plays the ethereal conjurer and takes a while, you're like, no. Yeah, you know what's coming. I think the is probably incentivized to go face again. And yeah. Then ping a one one. Why not? The only thing is that now, if he draws a buff card, it gets even more value. Okay. So also, uh, he might he, he's trying to force Raynette to make the decision of whether or not he wants to trade it to the Ethereal Conjurer. Now that he has a Time Winder and has that that type of value. Uh, there. Uh, right. uh oh. <laughs> uh. Sorry, it's just that it's, this might be the first time in a long time I've seen Hogger be the reason <laughs> yeah. why uh, someone ends up conceding. Well, that's going to wrap up game number one, so that in this situation. Yeah. So Zalay's going to throw out the Hunter, and Raynad is going to play the Mage. He's going to switch it up a little bit. Uh, so uh, this deck from Zalay seems like most of the Hunter decks we've seen today. Uh, Desert Camel combined with uh, the uh, one drops for those sort of temple plays. King Crush off the first web spinner. The dream. The dream. I don't even know if that's a dream. It can be the dream, anyway. Well, it's got a pretty good versatile amount of options with the uh, the coin. Chooses to coin to Desert Camel. Oh. The Cavaldi, the injured Cavaldi dream once again. Looks like that refill is going to come sooner than he thought. <laughs> oh, man. Well, Zalea is kind of enjoying it. He's trying really hard not to keel over in the laughter. And Polymorph 4 is able to deal with big stuff almost as well. And you can also use it uh, as a flexible card to maybe go aggressive, push some damage, or uh, use your own creatures as an extra way to remove. Try to get extra mileage out of something that would have otherwise just died on board. Oh! oh I said nice. that I said on turn 6. And Zelay just has to laugh it off. Yeah. But I know he's not really laughing. Yeah. Those are uh, muffled sounds of pains that happen to come out in a sound of laughter. Well, he, he realized that he had some moments of good fortune <laughs> so far in this series. So, Four, which ends up become a situation where King Crush will just dominate the board for yeah. a while. I'm looking forward to it. Should be a good time. It should be a good time. And I wonder if, if Zelay has... Any more secrets left in his deck? We see the bear trap in his hand. Yeah. Uh, but this mad scientist says, that, that pulls a secret. It could end up being a big deal, especially if it's something like a freezing trap. Uh, or even a snake trap, since Rain has just been trading a lot. He's been forced to. Whoa. Snipe? Snipe. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Rain I wouldn't know what it feels like to be sniped. But I guess he does now. He does now. <laughs> well, I think this is a snap call, King Crush, and slam it at the face. Because if Reyna doesn't have, if he doesn't get a removal off the top, he could be eliminated. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is pretty much it. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. This is scripted. Yeah. Right off the top. And the chill win Yeti to boot. But he's still on a clock here. Uh, I mean, the Fell Reaver doesn't exactly uh, threaten the lethal, but the hero power is good. Yeah. It gives him four turns. Al Belcher. Yeah, really powerful card. I think he needs to also, uh, he was testing for uh, Freezing Trap. Very reasonable. And does he want to use the Reversing Switch just for good measure? He's, burn he's waiting for all the cards to be burned. How many cards remain in Zelay's deck? Might not be, it might be, it might, might not be relevant now, but it could be relevant if you're going to a top decking game. I don't know. Eight cards remaining. Hard to say if it's actually relevant or not. Yeah. So it's going to be five cards after this. There's some direct damage, but he trades anyway. I don't know. The clock's uh, clock's ticking. Yeah. He's afraid of explosive trap. Yeah, Defender of Argus is not that good, but Zelay is just going to hero power. And I think he's going to put Raynette on a situation where Raynette has to attack. And he's going to realize that it's uh, 
this explosive trap. Can he get there though? Does Raynan have burn in the deck? And Center Shield Master is, you know, okay. It's going to add three damage to the board. So but he's going to have uh, 10 damage, 11. He needs to draw a fireball off the top. Or some heal. It's or really heal, close. But I, <laughs> for some reason, I doubt there's any, but I think uh, Firebat thought the same thing when he was playing against uh -oh. uh, VLPS earlier with the healing touch. So Raynan needs four damage off the top. Otherwise, Alay will end his tournament run. What's it going to be? The verdict is in. No, oh. not the right four damage. That's it. That is it. And it looks like Rain adds run Flame here. strike the face. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, that's going to do it. Soleil eliminates Raynat, takes his 550, and says GG. That's going to be our second player eliminated, and uh, Soleil also has a pretty significant stack, hitting over 2,000. Yeah. So him and, and Strife Crow, definitely the, the leaders to look forward to. The King Crush off that first web spinner <laughs> helped a lot. Um, I don't know, Raynat, after you got the first Flame Lance on the King Crush, you know, I thought you might have been able to pull it back, but... Just being put on that uh, the hunter clock, uh, just a little bit too much. I mean, yeah, a one mana minion that makes a nine nine charge creature is uh, very reasonable, <laughs> and in no way makes competitive Hearthstone look like a joke. So, <laughs> pretty standard game of Hearthstone. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, if I feel robbed by any by anything, I I think it was Strife Grow's hunter deck, um, but. This was, yeah, I mean, unfortunate web spinner outcome, and that's Hearthstone. Yeah, well, and.